Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this is New Perspective Success 2019 Modules 5 to 8 Sam Capstone Project 1A. Midwest Executive Professionals Improving Tables, Queries, Forms and Reports. Here, first of all, we need to download this Access Start file, which I have already downloaded here. Now let's move on to our project step. So the first step is Midwest Executive Professionals is a form that connects to professional job seekers with jo job opening. You work in the research department of Midwest Executive Professionals as a research analysis. You are developing an Access database application to help manage and analyze companies, job applicants, and job placements facilitated by your company. In this project, you will improve an existing database by modifying tables, queries, forms, and reports. Open the job seekers table in the design view and complete the following. First of all, we need to open the job seekers table, this one, in design view. Right click on this one table, then click on design view. After the existing phone field, add a new field name email with a hyperlink data type. Okay. So existing phone field. Yeah, this here. Hi, email. Uh, field name is email and the data type is hyperlink. Okay. After that, uh, uh, add a second new field named comments with a long text data type. Comments with a long text data type. Then save and close the job seekers table. Save and close the job seekers table. Here, open the jobs table in design view and uh, complete the following. Open the jobs table in design view. Right click on jobs table, then click on design view. Add salary as the caption category to the sa starting salary field. Starting salary field, this one. And the caption is salary. Now add greater than or equal to date uh, bracket open bracket close as the validation rule property for the po posting date field. Posting date field, posting, posting, yeah, here. Validation rule greater than or equal to date bracket open or bracket close. Add date must be on or after today as a field validation text property thing date for posting date field okay so here validation text date must be on or after today now save and close the jobs table if prompted to test data integrity click yes okay uh, save and close yeah save. and here this process may take a long time do you want the existing data to be tested with the new rule? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then we will close this table. Now the third instruction is open the company's table in design view. Company's table in design view. Right click open in design view and complete the following. Use the lookup wizard to look up values for the industries field. Okay, for the industries field. Here, select the lookup wizard. Then the lookup field should get its values from the industries table. Okay, I want the lookup field to get the values from another table or query. Click on next. Here, select the industries table. Click on next, then select the industry field. Okay, industry view selected. Then click on next. Select the industry field and short the records in ascending order by the industry field. By the industry field, click on next. Then widen the industry field to get the best fit for all the all of the values in the list widen the industry field okay so here widen enable data enable data integrity on the relationship enable data integrity and use industry as the label for lookup field and use industry as the label for the lookup field uh, 
light is here. That table must be saved before relationships can be created. Save now, yes. Now save the table if prompted. Yeah, we have done that. Now switch to data view, data sheet view, and then choose investment banking and asset management for the industry field for the company ID two. Okay, switch to data sheet view. Here, company ID field two, four. Uh, switch to the uh, then choose investment banking and asset management for the industry field. Okay. Uh, we will so here we will choose investment banking. Uh, yeah, here asset management. Now close the company's table. Okay, then first of all save the changes and then close the table. Open the application listing query in Design View. Application listing query. Right click, click on Design View. And here add greater than or equal to enter minimum salary as the parameter criteria to the starting salary field starting salary field here the parameter criteria is is equal to greater than sorry greater than or is equal to enter minimum salary then run the query using 60000 when prompted run the query using 60000 enter minimum salary 60000 then click ok now save and close the application listing query save and then close the application listing query now open the industry analysis query in design view industry analysis query in design view and complete the following add the total row to the query grid total row to the query grid okay after that, group by the industry field, count the company name field, count the company name field. And average the starting salary field, average the starting salary field. Then switch to the data sheet view and widen each column to see all data fields names as shown in figure 1. Okay, data sheet view. Okay, so we need to widen each column so that we can see all the data here in these columns. So, okay, just double tap at the end of the column. Change the industry column field width to 35. Industry column field width. column field width to 35 so right click uh, field width it's 35 click ok count of company name to 22 right click click ok and uh, the average of starting salary to 19 field width 19 click ok save and close the industry analysis query save and close the industry analysis query now start a new query in design view and complete the following add the companies and jobs table and then and in add the industry field from the company's table and the job title and starting salary field from the job table to the query grid. Change the query from a select query to a cross tab query. Put the industry field in the column heading area and job title field in the row heading area. Okay, so basically this is not a whole tutorial video. There are total 
22 in 23 instructions in this file from which I have already explained you five instructions. Now for the rest of the assignment, you need to contact me on my WhatsApp or email, whichever you want. My all contact details are provided in the description box to contact me and get any type of assignment help from there. In case any doubt, you can ask me through comment box. So thank you. Thank you for watching my videos.